Welcome to this yin yoga class to stretch out your hips, lower back and release any kind of stress you may be experiencing. So let's come onto our mats, making our way into swan pose. You might want to have blocks within reach. And you might want to use a folded blanket as padding. From hands and knees, bring your right knee behind your right wrist. The right foot should stay more close to the hips here, so not parallel to the mat. Extend your left leg back behind you and make sure that your hips are level so you're not rolling on just one side. If you notice that you're rolling onto one hip more than the other, then please put a block or folded blanket underneath your right hip. And you can either stay upright or you can fold on over. A block can go under the chest or underneath the forehead for extra support. So settle in here, inhaling and exhaling, slow steady breaths through your nose and relax into this shape. Push and make your way back up into tabletop pose before making our way to the second side. Just stretch out your right leg straight behind you, making any kind of movements that feel good for your hip. Setting ourselves up for the other side, left knee makes its way behind the left wrist. Stretch your right leg back and square your hips so you're not rolling on just one hip. And then folding down or staying upright if that's more comfortable for you. And you don't need to have your shin parallel to the mat. You can have your leg close into your groin and your 
foot does not have to be flexed, it can be pointed. When you choose to fold forward, maybe use a block to prop up your head and then fully arrive in your swan pose, focusing only on your breath. Let's lift back up again, slowly and mindfully. And again, when you're on tabletop, maybe stretch out your left leg, stepping it behind you, making some leg circles, hip circles, whatever feels good. And then remove the blanket if you had it, put it off to the side and from tabletop pose we're going to take full shoelace. So stack your left knee over the right, try to bring your heels close towards you and if this feels like too much for your knees or hips, you can sit up on a block or just come into a cross leg variation. So with or without the block, if this is enough you can stay upright here, otherwise you can walk your hands forward to fold over your knees and you can again use a block or maybe two blocks as support for your elbows or your head. Whatever feels best for you, just try it out and play with the different options. So here I'm doing a block tower for my head. Whenever your mind begins to wander, bring your awareness back to your breath and maybe send your breath into any sensation you feel, maybe in your low back or your hips.
If you fold it forward, press yourself back up. And before doing the second side, we will do a side bend variation in shoelace. So reach your left hand out to the side, extend and lift your right arm up and over to really feel the side stretch, bending over to the left and then lower the right arm back down, letting it rest on your right hip. Try to keep your right hip pressing down into the mat. Don't bend too much so that it lifts up off the ground. The elbow may or may not come all the way down to the mat. If not, you can prop your elbow up on one or two blocks like I'm doing here. You can also release your neck and include a little neck stretch as well. If you had the elbow on the floor, straighten the arm back again and then slowly walk yourself back up, reversing out of this pose. Taking a moment seated here to notice how calm you're beginning to feel after these two poses, breathing deeply. Unwind your legs, making our way into full shoelace pose on the second side. <laughs> so come into the pose however you can, from tabletop, bending your left knee, aligning both knees on top of each other. And if there's a bit of a gap between the knees, that's fine, just stay uplifted. Or you can walk forward to fold. 
Maybe using two blocks underneath your elbows or underneath your head. Let your head be really heavy. Everything is relaxed as much as possible. If you've been folded down, lift back up and then doing the side bend variation on the next side. Remove any blocks you, you used before. Extend your right arm out to the left, extending your right arm overhead to find a stretch. And then let the right arm drift back down resting on your right hip. Again, you can use two blocks underneath your elbow to make this more accessible. Or you could just not bend into the elbow and keep your arms straight. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears and let your head be heavy to invite in a gentle neck stretch here as well.
re-straighten your right arm, start to come back up to center. Taking a moment here in shoelace, sit it upright. Noticing how you feel. Before removing our props to make our ways lying down on our backs. From here we will come into half happy baby. So please pull your right knee into your chest. You can stay here or you can hold on to the outside of your right foot. Stacking your ankle over your knee. Pulling it gently down. Your arms will need to engage in this pose a little bit. Try not to engage any muscles in the legs as much as possible. And not try not to roll onto your right side more than the left. Try to keep it even. Again, if this is too much, just stay in the first option like this. Start to release the hold of the right foot. Back to center. And then onto the left side, pull your left knee into your chest. Either staying here if this is enough of a stretch for you. Or alternatively, you can hold on to the outside edge of your left foot, stucking your left ankle over your left knee, keeping your hips even and leveled so you're not rolling more onto the left hip than on your right. And if the stretch is too intense, you can always come back to having the knee pulling in towards your shoulder.
Again, release the hold of your left foot, moving as slowly as you can. And then pull both knees in, giving your knees one final squeeze. When you're ready, meet me in Shavasana. Both legs outstretched, arms go out to your sides and just rest here. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, deepening your breath. Reach the arms up overhead in a big stretch and then draw one leg into the chest and then the other, giving yourself a squeeze. Rolling over to your right side, using your forearm as a pillow left hand to the mat. Keeping your eyes closed and intention inward, gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. palms come together in front of the heart. May you carry light and love out into the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. Join me in my 7-day self-inquiry yin yoga journey. Click the link in the description box below to sign up. And if you enjoyed this class, please remember to let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with a friend. Practice again with you soon. 
Namaste.